Hi, I'm Ollie and this is my brother Cooper. Hi. We are homeschooled and we have decided to do a science project on growing coal. Our aim is to recover broken pieces of coal that has been damaged by boat anchors and human activity. We will monitor the growth over the next 12 month period. We decide to do it in beautiful Western Bay, Branson Island because we love this place but we have noticed that the reef has been dying so we want to try and help it help to recover it. We are trailing two different methods. Our first method is the wooden tree frame. In each of these branches will have coal hanging from them. They will float freely with the tides and the currents. Our second method is this metal grid frame. And the idea of this is it's meant to sit on the bottom with these little cement moulds which will have coal stuck into these little holes here. Each time we come out, we are going to record the date, the month and the season, the water temperature on the surface, the water temp on the bottom, and the water salinity. Or this is otherwise known as the density of the water. We are now putting the wire in so we can hook the coals onto the tree. I'm just puddling, puddling along and uh, Ollie and Dad are just... Uh, behind the boat and they're looking for broken staghorn coal. What number is that one? That one's yeah. number F. F Cooper. I'm gonna take a, go from that centre one, all. So yeah, how that, actually. That's right. I take away and reading. Measurement. So what have you got? We've got thirteen point one coop. Thirteen point. We are just measuring from the cement to the highest bit. To of the highest point. Highest point. Of the middle one. Here we are with our thing all wired up. And um, we're just going to pass it to Dad, and, and we're going to hop in soon, so we can adjust it all, put it in the right spots. Daddy, lift together. Okay. I'm going to hit the boat. Got it, I got it. Okay. Pulling up our thermometer, and then we'll um, check how cold or hot the bottom is. What's it reading, Pete? Okay. Our tip is... 20, 20. 24 degrees. Ready, Ready to go into the water. Ready, off you go. Woo! Staghorn coral is part of the Acropora family of corals. These corals are found in warm, sunny, clear, tropical waters and is one of the fastest growing corals. When healthy, it can grow up to 20 centimetres per year. Staghorn grows in dense groups called thickets, which provide important habitats for fish. Its colour is golden tan or pale brown with white tips. The colour comes from the algae that lives within their tissue. The coral feeds on microscopic plankton using its tiny tentacles. This is a hydrometer. We um, measure the specific gravity. Um, fresh water is always a thousand, right there. So we're going to measure the salt water, the salt salt contents of the water. So let's put it in. Two, two four, six. Yep. Two thousand and a thousand and a thousand and forty-six. No, a thousand six. Thousand twenty-six. Thousand twenty-six. So, so Kate, why um why does it read higher for salt? Because salt is denser and heavier. So it makes the water denser. Is that right? The salt, the salt contents in the water. It's been four months since we started our project. It's now spring, and this is our first inspection of the coal. From first look, it looks like the coal is growing. Um, now we're going to do some uh, measuring. Measuring. All right. Let's do it. Look at the growth on this coral. 
Oh, wow, well, isn't it? Yeah, sure it is. Sure is. Maybe we'll put a photo in there so they can see where that one was when it started. Where did From it start, do you think? Was it originally just that bigger stem? Yeah. I think it was, like, right in the... Look in the... Let me see the photo. Yeah, it was from like the stem. What's that? What's that one? Really? Unfortunately, our tree method hasn't worked, and um, we're going to need to take it home with us. Oh, we're back on our third check for the coral project on Saturday, February twenty-eighth, February. The water temp is twenty-eight degrees, and we're gonna go pull the coral project up. <laughs> <laughs> On our third check, we observed that all our coals and other coals around our project had turned white. This is called coal bleaching. Bleaching happens when water temperatures rise during summer months. It causes coals to lose the algae that grows within their tissues. The coals may still be alive, but it's more susceptible to stress and disease and may take a long time to recover. We are hopeful that our coals will recover from this event. How do you know? So what are you guys doing this time again? We are checking the water slim tea. Oh, it's, we need more water coops to get oh, it floating yeah. more. What did you get for that one, Ol? 180 millimetres. Oh, this one is... Uh, it has to stay on there. Probably number 10. You're Ash and Tilly helping too. Writing the figures down. So we have lost an, another two and uh, they're white but they're actually still growing. So. so they're not actually dead? No, they're not dead. They look dead because when coal goes white it's dead. Put it back in. See how it goes. It's yep. still growing, isn't it? Look. Oh, yes. A bit brown. Oh, cover. So, today is the uh, 3rd of June, and we're actually three days into winter. Um, and we're actually meant to go on in autumn, but we're going to call this our autumn check because the weather has just been really bad for going out, really poor, it's been rougher. So we just haven't been able to have the chance to go and check our coal project. So today is the day we check it. The last time we went and checked our coal project, it had been bleached. So I just want to make a pre prediction of uh, what I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be bleached still. I don't think it's going to be bleached. I think it's going to be the normal colour. Growing. Growing. Our water salinity today is 1028. Our water temp today is 23 degrees. It's too cold for us, so we've made dag and get our project. <laughs> We have just pulled our project up and it's not looking good. It looks like uh, some of our coals are dead and there's only one living. Very sad. But, but, there, is, but there is a little bit of growth here on uh, this one. Just, uh, just a little, little bit of hope. Bit. We're just going to put it back in and see what happens. We can see that these ones here are growing. Here. This you is really tell. disappointing to what we've seen right here for all our effort we've put into this. Now we can see what bleaching really does and you can also see it as well. They've killed our corals. Our summers have been really hot because when water temperatures rise, um, coral dies because of bleaching. But we've still got a little bit of hope right here. <laughs> yeah. Just this tiny little snippet of coral. 
and we're just hoping that it will be. Maybe this one. And this one. Maybe, maybe this one. I don't really have a hundred percent sure it will live. I think so because it's starting to brown up again. Yeah, this one it's is starting to get a bit of colour back again. But oh, I think that this one here has is definitely still living. It's got still it's got colour still in it, which is great. But I'm just really disappointed that our colour will be it. We are going to put it back in and we're going to hope for the best that the coal will still live. We're not going to measure it this time because there's kind of no point if they're all dead. But I hope the next time we come back today, or some, or one, or two, will still be living. I hope. I hope. Ah, my thing is stuck under it! This is only a small scale of coral bleaching, but imagine out there in the wide open sea where all the reefs are dying, fish, is, fish are losing their habitat to, because of coral bleaching. Or coral bleaching. We're just mixing up some little cement moulds to make our little coral pots. Okay. What do you got here? Well, we got our cement mm -hmm. that I've just mixed, and then we got our things, our wire that's gonna hold our coral in there. So these and then this thing the here, coral. this is gonna, we'll put the coral or the bottom of the coral in there and then fill it up with glue. And that's the a finished one, well, not the finished one, yeah. So far we have painted our pieces of wood that you can see and now we are going to screw these pieces of wood onto the main piece of timber. Good. Here we are putting our coal tree into the cement. And I'll just hold him up. It has hold him up a bit, kids, and I'll dig it out. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, stand up pretty much. Yep. That should be good. How does that look good? Yeah. yeah. Just checking the weather forecast. Looks like it's going to be five to ten knots, and we're going to try and get the coral out tomorrow. 